to leave uh, university and start it as an artist but then since uh, coming back after the summer to do an MA uh, I actually learned how much I still have to learn um, about myself as an artist but also just you know, producing the work and um, you know promoting yourself and what to what to do really and strategies of how to get yourself out of bad situations this entire year has been focused on deconstructing everything I know, starting from scratch, and how to improve that work when you're being put back together. One of the things I've mainly learned this year is just taking a step back and thinking more about what you're doing, having time to yourself, evaluating everything, and just see where it gets you, and give anything a try rather than just, you know, taking a photo, painting it straight away, don't know what to do the rest of the painting. I'm going like the queen of Artists that have inspired me this year, um, in particular, would be Cecily Brown. You know, her style's very loose and her figures are very ambiguous. Being a viewer, it's really hard to try and work out exactly what's going on there. And that was something that I really, really liked and wanted to incorporate. Another one would be Anthony Mikolaev's new self-portraits. The rawity of the paint and the fact that you can't fully identify what is going on with the facial features is something that speaks louder than words. Being inspired by those artists, it suddenly began to change my thought process, whether that's you know um, what I painted or how I think. My focus this year has been um, towards figurative uh, bodies more than portraits because there's something about the body that can convey a lot more emotion than a facial expression of a portrait. And it was at halfway through this year that I discovered my viewers weren't connecting that much to the concepts of the work. And that's when I discovered that, you know, maybe I should broaden my range a bit, maybe I should broaden my creativity by painting figures, figures in a particular pose, in a particular composition, and not just male subjects, but also female subjects so that all viewers could relate to the work. So the concept began, or has actually been inspired by an event that occurred at the beginning, even before the MA, uh, this time last summer, where I, I had a lot of hectic things going on in my life at the time, but also I underwent uh, a heart operation, which didn't go according to plan and was actually quite traumatic. You know, to go from something like that and then adjust back to normal life, I, I, I didn't know how to cope, what to do or how to go about it, simply because I'd never experienced them before. And since no one else had, I didn't really know what to do, how to act or how to behave. Um, and I found that art was a very, very big way of venting. It was something that helped me keep, keep my sanity in a way. And that is what began to feed into the artwork and began to influence everything that I've done this year. Having a studio to yourself is one of the most enlightening parts of being an artist, I'd say, because it's a lot of alone time. Some people don't like that, but I find it quite nice in a way. I mean, you're left with your own thoughts. 
you discover a lot about yourself and then it influences into your paintings. And also I find that it's one of the one places where I can actually unload my mind. So I've, I've got a lot of thoughts going on in my mind, I've got a lot of ideas, things I'd like to try and the studio I don't have to mind what I do. I mean this is a bit of a messy studio and I think that's quite good because you see all my creativity going to work even if it's a tiny trip or a massive paint stroke. When I'm in studio I'm always motivated and very disciplined by all the photos I've got up in my studio space. I've got a lot of images of family and friends and I've been through a lot to get here and I wouldn't have gotten here without my my parents in particular always standing behind me and constantly pushing me towards that so whenever I'm in studio and not having such a busy day or a bit unmotivated I find that that's the best way to get me back on my feet. Now that I've finished university I've luckily secured a new studio where I'll be continuing my practice. I think I'll stay focused on figurative painting simply because there's a lot more things for me to discover within my practice. I've taken on some new commissions, I have some up and coming art shows that will be happening soon and I will be hopefully approaching other galleries, art shows, art fairs and just see what happens in the future. It's very exciting but uh, scary. <laughs>